InDesign has some preferences about how it displays graphics and color of text. By default, InDesign uses a medium quality display for graphics on the page. This presents a balance between performance and quality. However, if you need to have precise views of your content, then you can change the default behavior to high quality. You could also choose fast, and fast will wipe out all of your graphical objects. They won't be gone, you just won't be able to see them. Later on, we'll see that we can control the display performance of an individual item. You'll see that we can also override specific behaviors, and we can create new settings here by adjusting these controls. Comparing typical to high quality, you can see there's a difference. When we choose high quality, our raster images, our vector graphics, and our transparency are all going to be rendered in the highest quality available for the resolution that we're using. I don't care to make any adjustments right now, so I won't touch these sliders. Black is a challenge for computers to display as well, because black on computer screens is different from black in ink. By default, InDesign displays all black color as rich black, and you can see on the right an example of rich black. The other choice is to use the black ink color, and that would be to display blacks accurately. If you're in a workflow that requires accurate display of black, then you may want to choose display all blacks accurately. What will happen is that if a black is only black ink, it will actually be lighter than if it were black plus other colors. When we print and export to RGB and grayscale devices, we can choose how to export that black ink. Since an RGB device, such as your desktop printer, doesn't know about 100% black ink, it needs to build that from all the colors that it has available to it, the cyan, magenta, yellow, the light cyan, whatever other colors it has in the printer. And so here we can choose how is it going to export. We can choose to output blacks accurately or output blacks as rich black. Again, this is only to RGB and grayscale devices. If we're talking to CMYK devices, then the color is going to move correctly as CMYK. I'm going to choose to leave these settings as they were. We can also choose to overprint black swatch when we see 100% black. This applies to PostScript and PDF output. If you don't have this turned on, then your black type will knock out of content that's underneath it, and you'll be dependent upon the trapping application when you send a job to print.